Hi friends, welcome to my channel, where today we are talking about what you need to know before moving to Coral Springs. If you have any questions about moving to Coral Springs or the surrounding areas, feel free to reach out. My email and phone number are in the description box below, and I love getting questions from you guys. While you're at it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to learn more. Now, let's get you talking like a local. All right, I'm just gonna come out with it. There is no coral and there are no springs. 55 years ago, this area was a green bean farm and a cattle field until builders from Fort Lauderdale came out here and started developing the land. They were called Coral Ridge properties. So I guess that's where the coral came from, but I still don't know where the springs came from. If you ask for directions to the springs, people are gonna look at you funny. Next up, Coral Springs takes pride in its well-established landscaping throughout its neighborhoods. We have held the Tree City USA title for 31 years. Tree City USA is a program that provides, among other things, public attention and national recognition for community forestry programs in thousands of towns and cities across the country. Many of our streets are lined with mature oak trees that provide shade, foliage, and character. Do not, and I cannot caution you enough on this, do not cut one down. According to Section 212 of the Land Development Code, a tree is defined as... Just kidding. I won't do that to you. Basically, what you need to know is that you need a permit to cut down a tree. And there are certain trees that if you remove, you have to replace with a similar type of tree. And then there are some trees called nuisance trees, and you can get rid of those. It can be kind of confusing, and if you mess this up, it might cost you in the form of fines and replacement trees. So call someone who knows what they're doing. I've got a guy if you need one. Next up, Publix. If you're moving here from out of state, you need to know Floridians love public supermarkets. Locally, we have Walmart, Walmart Neighborhood Market, Target, Whole Foods, Fresh Market, Bravo Supermarket, a Costco, and rumor has it, we're about to get a Trader Joe's. But people still love Publix. Do not come in here and start trashing Publix and complaining about missing your favorite store like H-E-B or Wegmans or Food Lion. Look, I'm sure your stores are great, but be careful who you complain to. For some, Publix is a way of life. So check out their weekly BOGOs, order a pub sub at the deli, and don't say nothing bad about Publix. Now let's answer the question I always get, taxes. Coral Springs taxes and fees make up about 30% of the tax bill for property owners in Coral Springs. That includes city taxes, debt payments, fire, stormwater, and solid waste assessments. All in all, there are seven governmental entities on each bill. Broward County accounts for almost 28% of the bill, Broward County Schools 33%, and Broward Health for about 5%. The city's proposed tax millage rate for next year is 5.8732. It's the same as it's been for the past three years, according to the budget. And this means you're paying about $5.87 for every $1,000 of assessed property value. While the rate has remained the same, residents are seeing a slight increase in their tax payments due to an increase in property values. But keep in mind, for homesteaded property in Florida, the assessed value can increase by no more than 3% above the previous year's assessed value. While the city's tax rates are considered above average, as our city commissioner says, when you look at everything you get, it's a great deal. Let's talk about driving. Yes, we have Uber and we have buses. If you don't wanna get stuck behind a bus, don't drive in the right lane on University Drive. Also, learn the school zones. Coral Springs has 12 elementary schools, six middle schools, and four high schools. And those are just the public ones. We love our kids, so if you speed in a school zone, you'll get a ticket and it'll be a big ticket. Also, you're going to need to learn how to use a roundabout. We have a few and so does Parkland. And just in case you've never lived in a city with one before, let's go over the rules. Okay, drivers entering the roundabout must yield to traffic that's already in the circle and are directed into a one-way counterclockwise direction. You got this, guys. Let's address local alcohol laws. This differs everywhere, so let's talk about it because there's nothing more embarrassing than getting to the checkout counter with a bottle of wine and having the clerk tell you to go put it back on the shelf. In Coral Springs, bars and restaurants are allowed to serve alcohol from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. every day of the week. 
So yes, you can order a mimosa at brunch and pop a bottle of champagne in the evening. But almost all the bars and restaurants in Coral Springs close well before 2 a.m. So if you're looking for some real nightlife, call one of those Ubers I was talking about and head to Fort Lauderdale. Now, liquor stores, gas stations, and supermarkets sell alcohol from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. any day of the week. So yes, you can buy beer on Sunday morning for your tailgate party. Speaking of sports, South Florida is full of professional sports teams that Coral Springs residents find it very convenient to support. In less than an hour, you can be at Marlins Park in Miami or American Airlines Arena to see the Miami Heat play or Hard Rock Stadium to see the Dolphins lose. I mean, play. The Florida Panthers hockey team plays about 15 minutes away at the BB&T Center. The Marlins and the St. Louis Cardinals do spring training an hour away in Jupiter. Dolphins training camp takes place about 30 minutes away in Davie. Next up, let's talk about weather. Yes, it gets hot in the summer. If I'm being honest, it still gets pretty hot in the beginning of fall. It's not out of the ordinary to see temperatures in the 90s with a feels like temperature of 102. But don't worry, you'll survive. There is air conditioning everywhere and we all live in a wardrobe of shorts and sandals. Many restaurants even offer outdoor dining, so it's not out of the ordinary to dress casual pretty much anywhere you go. It can also get pretty humid, so to my curly hair girls out there, you can spend a fortune on anti-frizz hair products, but I recommend you just embrace the extra volume. The heat is a small price to pay for having year-round sunshine and never having to shovel snow. Now, when you get here, if you need a job, need to know your trash pickup days, or need to sign Little Timmy up for Little League, the City of Coral Springs website is a great resource for all things Coral Springs. If you need a friend, need help buying a home, that's where I come in. Thanks for watching my video. Hope I got you feeling like a local. Bye friends.